Fans of the video game Uncharted have been anxiously awaiting word about the movie adaptation announced last year, with horrible bosses director Seth Gordon leading the way. According to a recent interview with Gordon, the film should start production in very early 2015, and Gordon says the film will be very international. Christian, should people be excited for an Uncharted movie? Yes. <laughs> and uh, I, the, the series is one of the best video game series as far as story related, I think, that's ever been created. Um, and it's, and it's going to be, people, the, uh, the internet's going to go bananas once we find out who is, is going to yeah. be playing Drake. Oh, yeah. That's the biggest thing. Once you hear, once the casting goes in, who's playing Drake? Clint have, Eastwood. My money is on Clint Eastwood right now. <laughs> Hurry up and jump off that cliff. Like 60 years um, ago. <laughs> the, thing, the thing with this movie is that we have not had a great video game mm -hmm. adaptation yet. I mean, Mortal Kombat, the first one was fun. That's about all you really can get. You get you have to nitpick. However, I think that this one, because this could be the new Indiana Jones if handled correctly, and I like the, the choice of the director because there's a lot of humor in, in this video game as well. So I, I'm very optimistic. Mary? Yeah, Uncharted is one of my favorite video game franchises ever, and I think it's really one of the best action adventure games. And Nathan Drake, like you were saying, is such a rich character. He's funny, and he's witty, and he's sarcastic, and he's really handsome, and he's very rugged. You're right, he could be the next generation's Indiana Jones. So for me, it really all depends on casting. Like, who is going to be Nathan Absolutely. Drake? For a long time, people wanted Nathan Fillion to play Nathan Drake because he does in the video game. They want him in everything. Well, yeah, but <laughs> he's, he's a little old for Nathan Drake now, I think, but because he was the voice of the character, people felt such a kinship with him. See, I, one of my biggest arguments against, and I don't think we've had even a good video game adaptation yeah. yet. I mean, I love Mortal Kombat, but it's as much it's as I like love... It's fun. It's guilty yeah, pleasure. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. And I love it on that level. My one critique has always been that video games do not have cinematic narrative to them. I know video game players feel like they do because you're playing a video game, but really when you step back, they don't. Uncharted is a little bit different. Yeah, you have a new breed is. of video games coming out that are starting to employ more cinematic mm -hmm. narrative. And this is, if any movie or any game, there's probably about five or six of them that I think have real possibilities to make good narrative. One of them is Warcraft, we see that coming. One of them is Assassin's Creed, we see that coming. And one of them is this. The other thing I really like about this is Seth Gordon's attachment. Mm -hmm. I loved the first Horrible Bosses, and I know I'm a little bit alone in that. There's, I know a lot of people kind of liked it. I really loved it. And he made one of my five all-time favorite documentaries in King of Kong, Fistful of Quarters. Yeah. That is like one of the best documentaries ever. How can you make a movie about guys who play King Kong and make it in engaging and interesting, mm -hmm. he found a way. So overall, I think this is really cool sounding stuff. What do you think? I'm a PC gamer, so I've only <laughs> flirted with the console version when I lived with a roommate. But I did read a couple of earlier drafts of the script. Very good, has very good potential and could perhaps be another Indiana Jones. But it read well, it flowed well, it has the cinematic narrative that you were talking about. Right. It's a big, fun adventure movie that's not only accessible to the council players, and but to general audiences as well. It's funny because Gordon just said, actually, he said we've. He said right now we've got the script. He said in good. a really good place. So it he is sounds very good. And I'm right. curious if that's one because for a long time a lot of good talent's been att attached and rumored to this for a long time. Yeah. And you had David O. Russell at one point wanted to do a version of this with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. That was floating around there. So people acknowledge what a great potential story this uh, film this could be. Also, yeah. Seth has a huge love of video games. Obviously, oh yes, yeah. so yeah, that really helps. Does. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.